What's up, suckers? Hey, hey Gail. Gail. Oh my you god. I'm more confident I've grown into my body. Apparently so. Jealous? I'm a woman now. I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> cool. Thank okay. you. I feel sorry for whoever took your virginity. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season five, episode four of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And last episode was so honestly, ridiculously good. I absolutely loved it. And it's funny because I actually went to check out IMDb real briefly to compare, I guess, review scores because I wanted to see, okay, how do other people feel about an episode like this then? And I actually found out it was, of the first three episodes, the lowest rated one by far. And it's, it's funny to me because to me it was, again, the one that I actually enjoyed the most. And I don't know why that is. I think the reason for that sort of disparity that I notice between myself and maybe average fans of the show sometimes is that I tend to always like the, the episodes that I can relate to real life. You get what I'm saying? So when it's dealing with very serious topics or this time around it had to do with the economy and I just like the message that was being shared there and it's something that I myself tend to sort of look into and I'm not gonna do a whole speech about it here don't worry but um I, I kind of liked you know the whole conversation that Dennis had about uh with Mac right about like you know just printing a bunch of money this and that because <laughs> it's something that like I I I dive into over on YouTube too I watch a lot of sort of finance channels and stuff so I like just yeah kind of being able to relate it to to real life but then of course the one other reason why I love this particular episode was for a very small scene and i mean it was only a small glimpse that we finally got though of the uncle uncle jack uh yeah i've had to wait for it literally since the season one finale you know it was already teased to me by then in the comments that like oh this is gonna be a character that you'll want to be on the lookout for uh, because a lot of people yeah were like sharing a bunch of memes i guess about him that i wasn't even able to understand yet uh, and so I tried not to look into it too much, of course. But I already loved the uncle back in the season one finale for the fucking, yeah, completely bizarre and weird way that he reacted to the situation there with Charlie having to pinpoint on the baby doll where he was touched, right? <laughs> oh God, it's like, yeah, t turn her around or whatever the fuck <laughs> that he said. But I've been waiting ever since for him to return. And then now, now I guess I get a bit of a like first look at what his personality is actually like and he seems to be sort of this very like calm and collective person but that's obviously undertones right and he's talking to charlie about wanting to you know spend a lot of time with him and go wrestling together i guess and stuff right and it's like the way he's bringing it across is so it's so wrong but then i see charlie's mom who's just looking there with a smile on her face like oh look what a nice caring uncle he is <laughs> she has no fucking idea i can't wait to see the uncle become a, a bigger part of the show hopefully right but i mean I, I know that he does like i said because people seem to be like memeing around about him but um how how much of a of, a, of an integral part of the show is he going to become i guess is, is kind of the thing that i ask myself how how many appearances will he be making i hope plenty because i think we're in for, uh, yeah, some absolutely wild situations if he does. So without further ado, guys, we're going to dive into the episode at hand. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to It's Always Sunny, you can get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, I also react to an exclusive episode every season, as well as the bloopers. So that's bonus content that goes up there too. Uh, your support is, of course, very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, let's dive into this new episode of It's Always Sunny. I don't understand why you don't just use a cup. I'm trying to be inconspicuous. Inconspicuous? <laughs> Your entire mouth is stained red, Frank. It is. Yeah. Are we going to be at the barbecue soon? <laughs> yeah, I'm pre-gaming, man. What was going on? What even is this box that he's holding? He's staying out like all hours of the night. I never see him. If he is around, he's usually not even wearing clothes. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes now, bitch. You're wearing a shirt that's on the inside <laughs> out and it's covered in grease. Yeah, really greasy. yeah, that shirt is really fucking dirty. Damn. I got really wasted. I must have climbed a tree. Really stepping up the insanity. Yeah, huh? I'm trying to push myself. I want to see how far I could go. Yeah, I feel like you've been standing on the edge of a cliff for a while now. I, I don't know, but the visual of Frank climbing a tree is just funny to me. I'm There's sure. a street right there. Hell? Well, we're going to a barbecue, Frank. It's more of a party in the park. We're at a cemetery. <laughs> Who has a party in the cemetery? Your Uncle Max. He just croaked. Flush that turd down the drain. 
Wait, the and Dennis's Uncle Max? I guess he is familiar with them. The gang gives Frank an intervention. Okay. I mean, he does, yeah, seem to need one. I guess Frank didn't even realize he was bringing them to an actual funeral and he thought it was going to be a party or something. He's been drinking too much recently, hasn't he? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else feel really uncomfortable? Everybody except for Frank. What are we doing here, Frank? What's your angle? I want to bang your Aunt Donna. Why would you want to bang our mom's sister at the funeral of her husband? Mm. Well, I don't know how many years on this earth I got left. I'm going to get real weird with it. Meanwhile, block the wind. I'm going to roast this bone. Jesus Christ. Dude, Frank really does need an intervention after this. I want an intervention might be a good idea. I mean, if he starts banging Aunt Donna, we're going to have the garbage pail cousin in the mix. The <laughs> Snail is the garbage pail Oh, Charlie, she is the worst. We'd have these family parties and she'd just glob on to me. Oh, shit. Okay, they're talking about an actual person. I thought they meant they were gonna get a kid and they were gonna get another cousin. What's up, suckers? Hey, hey Gail. Gail. Oh, my you God. I'm more confident I've grown into my body. Apparently so. Jealous? I'm a woman now. I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> cool. Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever took your virginity. <laughs> We're at your dad's funeral, Gail. Whatevs, I'm over it. Uh, Plus, if we all showed up super high at the reception, everyone would be like, what? Uh, <laughs> Look at the way Charlie is looking there. Why don't you go wait in your car? Go we'll come join you. Come get yeah, you he's gonna come? We'll come in a like second. Five minutes? Uh, and she kind of reminds me of the McCoyle sister, man. Not, not all there. Donna, 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 Donna. <laughs> Hello, Frank. You surprised to uh, me? No. Ooh. You left several voicemails congratulating me on my husband's death. Well, that was pretty big. Dude, it runs in the family. She so reminds me of Dennis and Dee's mom. I think you and me ought to bang. What? Okay, hear me out. Max never liked me. I hated him. Barbara didn't like you. You despised her. Now, what better way to get back at them in the grave, really stick it to them, <laughs> if you and me plowed? I mean, really... <clears throat> I don't think she's going to be able to, yeah, very down for that. Hey, I'm Mac. Oh, shit. I've also Barbara's banged your sister before. She yeah. Mentioned. You were going to say something? No. Mac was hoping it. Mac was hoping it. He's like, I had a chance with her. No, no. she's breathing. It ain't happening this time, buddy. For a second, I was like, oh, maybe it will, but... No, it's very clear. She does not have the same intentions. Then again, her sister was just doing it to get back at... I forget who it was. At somebody. Frank, probably. What's Frank struggling with the most right now? Ooh, uh, he is trying to bang our aunt. That's the big one. Uh, these things deal more with drug and alcohol abuse. Mm -hmm. Drugs and alcohol are rolled into what we're talking about. I was going to say, that's part of it. Usually that's what makes you come up with these kinds of ideas, doesn't it? But if I'm being honest, my problem's less with the fact that he's drinking more that he's doing it without me. And then <laughs> I start thinking, what's wrong with me? Am I not fun to drink with? And... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> of course, Charlie reflects it on himself. <laughs> makes him feel insecure. So how do we go about doing this? Do we ambush him and then just sort of like berate him into becoming the guy we want to we no, no, be no. around? You, you no? certainly don't berate him. He, he needs to know you're coming from a place of, of love and, and concern. Mm -mm. Too soft. I th <laughs> the, the, the reality is that's not the place they're coming from. Why, why would I need to be armed? Well, Frank's usually carrying like a little gun around with him and he doesn't really hesitate to use it. Yeah. You know what? If we maybe pants. ambush Frank with a net... Or some kind of like rope device, and the, the gun will maybe drop out of his you waist. You want to bring belt. him in in a net? That could get awkward. I, I'd At say bring, bring the gun. Bring I don't a gun. Get shot. So just bring a gun. Whatever. Bring a gun. <laughs> Solid advice, though. I do offer group therapy. With all due respect, you're talking about bringing guns to an intervention, and and you're drinking wine out of a soda can. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you put wine in. The oh shit! She could tell that. I guess you smell it or something. I mean the guy's 
great ideas. He's a smart he's... man. That's not what we're here about. But I do feel like she just tried to intervention on us. Did you intervene on us? Is that what that Now you might want to pull out the gun. I think we can do the intervention on our own without her. You guys think? Why not? Yeah. All right. We might as well give it a shot. Let's just do that. Thank Thanks you. for your help. You did your best. Uh, no hard feelings. I'm going to grab uh, some literature, too. She didn't do that great of a job, so. Well, I mean, how is, how is that going to make her feel now? Is she going to feel like she's leading them to danger? Or is she just sad that she's going to be running out of, you know, an opportunity to make money? You know, she's just like, well, probably for the better. That's what that's what I would hope. I'm trying to figure out how, how to, to bang on. Donna. I know, you've been talking about it for the last five miles. You know what, dude, it doesn't matter. I got a better idea. I think you should bang Gail the snail. <sighs> oh, no. My niece? Yeah. Gail the oh. snail. Yeah, dude, what's more depraved than that, huh? Yeah, to be fair, you deserve each other. You're kind of reminding me of her right now. <laughs> What's in it for you? Huh? Yeah. What's in it for you? Don't worry about what's in it for me, dude. How does Mac figure that Frank banging the daughter is going to get him to be able to bang the mother? Because that must be what his angle in all this is, no? Hmm. Jolly, let's write him a letter. Let's write Frank a letter. I mean, that's the first step in any intervention, right? Okay, uh, well, I guess my letter would be about how Frank and I aren't really making memories together anymore. And, you know, how when we don't make memories together, that's a hurtful thing for me. <laughs> okay, uh, you know what, let's just dive right in. I'm not even gonna... Deep down, Charlie is such an emotional person. <laughs> I love him for it, though. When was the last time we played Nightcrawlers together, Frank? Oh, uh, okay. What, what is that? It's no, it's no big deal, you know? It's, I but. If I were you, I'd just write it down because it's not really a big deal. What is it? It's what it sounds like. What it sounds like is that you two crawl around like worms in the night. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, they sleep ass to ass at least. Shut up! Guess what? We got you! What do you oh. guys think? I thought when Frank comes in, we'll just bang and make a bunch of noise. Oh, yeah! Ha! Ah! We ah! got you! Oh! All right. Right? Uh, that's exactly what's going to make him pull out the gun and shoot you in the face. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to think we need to intervene on you for your goddamn illiteracy. Yeah, Charlie, you are getting real dumb. <laughs> Come on. That's All nothing right, new. So this is what I'm talking about, illiteracy. Yo, what does that word even mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it means. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's Mac. Whoa. How you doing, Frank? What the hell are you doing here? Where are we right now? Well, I'm... I think the snail is too depraved even for me. This broad is berserk. Wait, oh wait. no. You guys bang? Oh no. Oh, no. We get a bunch of those monster energy drinks and dry humped. It was monster energy drinks and dry humped? What the fuck are these rituals? This makes a lot of sense. They live in a similar kind of mansion that the, the sister did. What is happening here? I haven't any idea, honestly. I'm giving Frank a handy under the table. Oh no. That is true. Oh god. Look, snail, back off. Because you're just mashing it now. Snail, you are so ridiculously gross. Holy shit. Mom, I'm sexually active now. Get you're over it. You're 33 years old. You're supposed to be sexually active. You're not supposed to be fondling your uncle under a table. Whoa, I'll make a deal with you. I dumped the snail. She's so proud of the fact that you know, she's like grown up now or whatever, right? She's not exactly acting like a grown up though. Why can't you just let me be happy? I want everybody out of my house. Christ. Out of okay. my house! Fine! Not you! You live here, Gail! I hate it here! I'm leaving! I'm going with this guy now! He's my boyfriend! Me. <laughs> Why can't you just let me be happy? <laughs> uh, this situation is bizarre. This makes sense, huh? Oh, there she is! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for coming! <laughs> you know, we really here. appreciate this! We really appreciate it! Yeah. Well, I'm here because clearly your friend is in desperate need of help. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why you're here. It's just your friend. Definitely not you, Ida. Could you help us pop a quick intervention on Charlie for his illiteracy? The kid can't read or Not write. a bit. <laughs> it's no joke. It's got, no joke. Come on, they've been riding me all day. I can read and write. I just don't like to read and write. God, look at the way that lips are all looking. It's good that you're here. We're That's doing our best. We're doing our Where's best. Where's the goddamn fire? Intervention! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he came straight in with the gun. You're trapped! You're trapped! You're trapped! You're trapped! You're trapped! You're trapped! We told you there was gonna be a gun. What the hell's going on? Trapped you, man! Yeah, yeah, you sit down so we can tell you what an asshole you've been. We're gonna get all in your face and point out your faults. A roast? I've always wanted to be roasted. Oh, wait. Let me just <laughs> switch gears here. 
fire up this split. Oh no. It's like, I'm going to get high for this real good. Everyone's here today because they care about you and they want you to get well. She ain't funny. <laughs> Next. Frank, you're an asshole. <laughs> ah, that's it. Now rain down on me. Come you're on. a prick. Well, and your addiction has affected us in the following ways. This whole group is completely helpless. If I was the woman, I'd leave straight away. She must surely be coming to that realization now. Like, people that don't actually want to change can't be helped. That's the thing. They don't. Clearly. They love it way too much. Stop touching me. That means okay, just stop. Whoa, what's this? Me and Mac are together. No, no, no. 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 Intervention. Intervention. I'm not banging Gail the snail. She followed me home. Oh, oh She was doing that the whole time. Yeah, she does that. And now she does that. Now, Frank, though. No, don't. Oh, my God. Why are you spitting on the floor i was just going over to her house to try and bang donna because she reminds me so much of your mom you know which is like the best sex i ever had uh, and intervention, intervention. <laughs> you bang my dead wife oh shit frank never realized this did you not know that no ah it's cool man it's cool I intervention intervention okay look he's got a weird um fetish for older women so don't hold it against uh, him no yeah, i don't have an that. older woman fetish I love how they keep going, intervention, intervention. Guys, let's do shots and get crazy. No, oh, we're intervening Gail. on you, Snail. Go, get out of here. I mean, getting crazy is fun, but not exactly with you. Driving her away with the salt. I was going to invite you guys all to a rave to hang out, but now I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Oh, my Good. Salt the snail. Salt, salt the snail. snail. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys want to go? No, oh, no, no, we don't want to go. Wait. I have glow sticks. Oh my god. Speaking of otherly helpless, yeah. She sure is a case as well. She is the worst, right? That's what we've been saying. Oh my god, that was a terrible experience for me, by the way. Of course it was. Nobody likes salting the snail, but she gives you no. I actually kind of love a character, though. Like the way it's acted, the way it's thought out. On one hand, she like acts so confident in herself, but she's actually super insecure. Frank like that. Yo, what happened to the woman that was over here? They're just proceeding. I, I'm sorry, but how do you guys want to proceed from here? Because I, I'm a little confused. Oh. Did you want to? Right. Okay. Um, well, I guess we kind of got what we needed out of the intervention, yeah. right? So good job. What was it? Well, she... we did all the work, we didn't did. we? Yeah. So we can't really pay you because of that. I know we said we would, but we won't. Um, how about a can of wine? Come <laughs> 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 yeah. okay, well, on your way. Yeah. Adios. On your way. Jacket. Yeah. Get out of here then. Take that uh, shoulder padded jacket. Thanks for stopping. The gang has reached a new low. You might as well call that the episode. Wow. Oh my god. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you can watch the next 16 episodes straight away over on my patient page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up for free and watch the next two episodes right now. So, I'll see you there.